class, notice the brain of Lyle Adams. Deranged lunatic. And my favorite, Postal. My mother hates to watch the news. All the crime and crazy people. She'd rather watch those old classroom movies from the 50s. My father's dead, so my brother gets the remote. He doesn't listen to my mother. My mother was in one of those movies once. She still knows all her lines. Caitlin, are you in the tub? Dear, you need to get ready. Mom, I brought you one of my things that I took in. I know it's a bit grown up, but I figured for your first school dance, we could make an exception. I wish we could have bought you a new dress. Well, how about I borrow something from Rianne? You never get a second chance to make a first impression. I could just not go. It was very nice of Dottie's husband to offer to take you. Dottie said all he does is sit around and watch TV all day. You should be grateful that he offered. <laughs> you used to enjoy school functions. I used to eat Play-Doh. You're gonna wear that? What are Mr. Adams and I supposed to talk about all night? Ask him if he fucks little girls. Joke. Caitlin's finding it hard to have a positive outlook today. Time for school, dear. And don't forget to smile. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. All right, Mother. Sure, it's rough being fatherless on the day of the big father-daughter dance. And we all know it's humiliating to wear your mother's clothing any night of the week. But Caitlin knows her mother can't afford to buy her a pretty new dress. If Caitlin weren't so glum, she could join the other kids and focus on more pressing issues of status, sex, and recreational drugs. Morning, Caitlin. Morning, Mr. Peters. Caitlin needs to learn that a cheerful outlook is heaps more important than a new dress, especially here in the Midwest. I can't thank you enough, Lyle. I'm happy to help out, Linda. Every girl should go to a dance. Can I get you a cup of coffee while you wait? Caitlin should be right down. No, ma'am, thank you. I'm fine. I, I, I would, uh, just, I should, we should get to the dance. <laughs> I'll let me check on her. Okay. I think it's creepy to pretend to be someone's father. My wife thought it would be a nice thing for me to do. Well, you look real nice. Caitlin, try and talk to the other children, okay? It's a nice family you got, Caitlin. Thanks. It's real nice of you to take me. Not being your daughter, no. Not a problem. My mom was real glad you offered. She's obsessed with me going to dance. Why is that? She wants me to make friends. You have a son, right? Yep. Something wrong? I'm not big on dancing. That's so. Well, hey, why don't we start by getting some pop? I'll wait out here. Ow. I'm a 
pretty bad dancer, huh? You know, I danced with your mother once. You did? When? In high school. And you know what? She wasn't any better than you, young lady. <laughs> Maybe she was just nervous to be dancing with you. Well, I don't see how that's possible. You're a pretty good dancer. But you know how to do a lot of things, huh? A lot of little things. I wish I knew more. A smart girl like you shouldn't have any problems. I need to try harder. That's what my teachers say anyway. Oh, yeah? Why is that? I guess I don't see the point. My mom tried really hard when she was a kid. She was in a movie and everything. I think I remember that. Yeah, well, now she's all grown up. She hates her job and she cries all the time. So what's the point? Did you dance with my mom again? No. I mean, she got awful busy with your dad after that. I wish you had asked. When did things begin to fall in place? When did we develop style and grace? When did life put on a friendly face? Moment when you took my hand. Do you dance with your wife? When begin to open wide? When did music take us on? Why not? I think you're good. We haven't danced since I lost my job. That's not your fault. Besides, it's gonna get better, right? It's gonna get better, right? Hey, let's try something different. Okay? I don't think I like the sound of that. No, no, no. Hey, <laughs> Caitlin, don't worry. You're turning into a beautiful dancer. You're gonna be just fine. I'm just gonna give you a little twirl. Okay? No. Are you ready? No. You ready? Here it comes. He would have killed himself as well, but then he remembered. He'd promised to take me to the dance. People talked about Mr. Adams all year. They said he was a deranged lunatic. My mother was right. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. I don't know. I thought he was nice. So